before we get this video started, I want to give you guys a quick update on this guy right here. So you guys probably would have benefited from this video a little bit more earlier in the ice fishing season. But I just wanted to get some time on the water um, before I talked about the product, I guess you could say. Um, but I know a lot of you guys have been asking about my ice fishing graph setup, my transducer setup and all that kind of stuff. Um, this is here. This is, this is it right here. This is a Plano gun case that uh, two years ago I converted to become the ultimate ice fishing graph setup. It's really big. It's really, really big. People don't realize how big it is. Um, and the main reason why I want it so big was just to put more stuff in it. I'll put my lunch in here, put snacks in here, put water in here, put my camera gear in here. Um, I always have this with me when I'm ice fishing, whether I'm in the hut or not in the hut. So it's an easy way for me to store um, stuff safely when I'm moving from you know hole to hole and all that kind of stuff. So as you guys can see, I run two lithium batteries. They're, I'm running two. They're 12 volt batteries, as you guys can see lithium batteries so um totally totally different than lead acid batteries i'm no like engineer or anything like that i don't know crap about batteries but all i can say is i'm running two which is totally overkill i do not recommend running to running two it's really heavy and most of you guys won't have space in your uh little ice fishing you know apparatus totally don't recommend running two but i'm running two i have i got these in february uh, first of all, I store this in my car, so it's it's winter in Canada, so it's absolutely freezing. I store these in my car. Um, I've been fishing three or four times since then. No, I went fishing three, day three days in a row, and then three times, so six times in total. And I have yet to charge these guys. I've yet to charge them. I'm gonna, that's actually, I'm kind of curious to see how much battery's left. Let's, let's quickly attach this guy again. Come on, there you go. She just turned on, so had her facing down. All right, so let's check out the battery. Look at that. <laughs> That's insane. I don't know any other way of checking the battery on this. I'm totally like technically inclined, but <laughs> That's full. Just wanted to give you guys a quick update. I told you guys I would. So um, there it is. Again, in the fall, I'm gonna make a video on how I set this all up. You know, what cables you need and all that kind of stuff. But so I'm going fishing tomorrow. I'm going to include that into this video. This was just kind of a quick update. So enjoy some fishing. <music> Hey guys, how are you doing? Hopefully you're having a great day. As you guys can see, I'm out on the ice. This is going to be my last ice fishing trip of the year, probably. I'm here with Aaron in this hut and then Josh Dixon in a hut just behind us. We're here in a beautiful Northern County. As you guys can see, we're out of the city. We're not on Simcoe. Simcoe closed a couple, a couple days back and uh, we're going for some lake trout. Hopefully we can get on some. What do you think, Aaron? Wanna get on some? Oh yeah, I think we'll catch a few. I think he'll catch a few. We'll see. I'm pretty excited. Let's uh, hopefully get on some lake trout. There you go. Oh, wow, that surprised me. <laughs> no, I don't think so. Kind of feels like a, like a white fish size, smaller than a white fish size. Girl. There you go. Hooked up. This thing's up the hole. Oh, there you go. Oh. There he goes. 
Okay, will we make it? There you go, let's push them down. Yeah, they're about the same size as like the other areas that have been, other than Simcoe. They fight a lot harder though. Oh, they fight like crazy. They fight a lot harder. I thought it was a bigger fish. Like early season, if I caught a fish like that on the other lakes I was fishing, he, was also he wouldn't fight like that. Yeah. We're getting a lot of marks. Yeah, it's fun. Yeah. It's like, usually you catch a lot of those fish too. And you will, you'll figure them out eventually. Something them. above me. Yeah, that's fish. They don't want to chase though. No, they don't. There's two fish, no? One on the bottom, one right above it. Oh yeah, there you go. A lot nicer than the one I just caught. There you go, buddy. <laughs> nice fish. Where'd you get in one? Uh, white tube. White tube. There you go. White tube. I'm not, I'm not wrong all the time. Yeah, you're wrong all the time. That was a nice fish. Those are the size of fish we're after here. Um, it's not like Lake Simcoe or anything like that where the fish are just abnormally huge. So we can kind of take what we can get, but one like that would be would be awesome today. Yo, Josh, how many juicy jumbos do you want? Two. You're getting two. <laughs> no. <laughs> Are we doubled up? No, just one. Wow, he shot fish, straight yeah. up. I thought that was you reeling up. I thought you were messing with me. To be <laughs> it's only a dink. Guaranteed two pounder. Guaranteed. I don't think it's that. Nope. Mm, no, there's still a little bit of weight to it. Oh, yeah. Did you pop off? Nope. Yeah. Huh. Listen to that Shimano drag screen. Wow. <laughs> you know what? It actually doesn't even feel that bad. Might not be as bad as I think it is. Let me know when there. she's let me yeah. know when she's close. <laughs> it's actually giving some good head shakes, so it might not be as small. Oh, oh, it's right there. Not even that small. Uh, Please, let me grab it. Let me grab yeah. it. I don't want you to get a fucking thing. thing. There you go. Nice. Sorry, help me. It's okay. <laughs> my rod has some my rod has some wow, good, uh, good luck now. <laughs> Is that my hole? <laughs> That's what's so Ooh, cool about these fish in Lake Trout in this lake. They will <laughs> fight so hard and they- Nice, uh, nice rod you caught that on, eh? Yeah, it wasn't <laughs> Have you been catching them on bottom? I haven't yeah. fished like this year. Last year. Was oh, okay. Yeah, were... We haven't had anything on bottom. No. It's more interesting yeah, when they come I up. Caught the one this morning was on bottom. And oh, okay. Night. Hey guys, so it's actually the next day. Um, we got off the water at like six or seven and I had like a three hour drive home. So I just kind of packed the camera away and, you know, went, <laughs> got right home and fell asleep. But I had an absolute amazing time on the water. Um, we ended up catching fish. It was pretty tough. It was, we were fishing a pretty, um, in that we were fishing pretty inactive fish. You know, we would have, you guys would, see, would have seen the video. We had a lot of action as in we were marking a lot of a lot of lake trout but we weren't getting any bites like they would kind of play with you they would chase you a little bit but they weren't committing at all um a lot of fish you know just kind of dome off a little bit and just swim off they weren't interested at all a couple we had chased right up to like five feet below the ice and they wouldn't bite but um we had a lot of action but a lot of inactive or fish that weren't willing to bite. Um, all in all, Josh absolutely schooled us. Um, he ended up catching like five fish or so. Most of them in his hat didn't get much on video. Um, I ended up catching that one early on, which I don't have even looked through the footage yet. I don't think I have great footage of, and I, Aaron lucked out to zero, unfortunately. But we ended up catching some fish. It wasn't, you know, it wasn't a total, you know, disaster or anything like that. But uh, most importantly, importantly, we had a lot of fun out on the water. So quickly, I'm gonna quickly talk about the stuff that we used. I'm gonna leave my rod reel and line down in the description below, so you guys can go have a look. But baits were pretty much lipless crankbaits. And tubes and swim baits. That's the three. Those were the three things that we used. 
I caught mine on a white lipless crankbait. Josh caught his on tubes and crankbaits. Um, I know you guys haven't seen me fishing in a while. I have been fishing. I just haven't really been filming. I took a little time off. I needed a little bit of break. School got a little bit too much. But uh, I've been fishing. I fished Simcoe a lot. Uh, caught some white fish. No lake trout for me. No big lake trout for me this year. But um, all in all, this is my last ice fishing trip out. I had a great time. I explored a lot of new water. You know, went fishing with a lot of new friends, and um, I'm pretty excited for open water, but I also can't wait for next year for some uh, great new things coming up ice fishing wise. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to leave Aaron and Josh linked down below as well, and I'll see you guys in the next one.